Hey Collective, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy. Subscribe. Okay, Collective, this is a general energy check. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Take what resonates, discard the rest. If it's not your reading today, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Okay? All that information and more is located in the description box. Um, I wanted to do some deeper readings today. You know, it's all good to know about what's going on with somebody and, you know, but what's going on with you. Okay? If someone's in your energy, it will come up. But I wanted you to know what's going on with you energetically. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? That's for their highest good. Thank you. Mm, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Spirit, please clarify ego. Please clarify ego. Thank you. Mm. Spirit, please clarify Ace of Cups. Please clarify Ace of Cups. Clarify six of bonds in reverse. Wow. Okay, spirit, please clarify three of coins. Mm hmm Okay. Um, whoever I'm speaking to, you know your energy, you know your story. I'm just here to confirm. Spirit wants you to look at something from a higher perspective. This is from a place of love. In all things, love and be loving. And it starts with love from yourself or love for yourself, right? So this is about coming in union and harmony with yourself. Your masculine and feminine energies are balanced. You have peace within yourself. Mm -hmm. This is going to cause major transformation for you. Spirit wants you to see that um, whatever things have happened to you in your life, there's always a reason or um, I'm hearing reason for the season, or it's for your highest good. Some of you could have realized that you, uh, maybe you could be upset about things that happen between people, but spirits like, look at it from a higher perspective. It taught you how to love yourself. It taught you how to come into union with yourself and make sure that you're good. There's egos all over this table, right? There's like one, two, three, right? It's all about looking at things from a higher perspective. Some of you, spirit wants you to step back and really recognize how some people or events or situations or experiences helped you to learn how to master yourself, right? Get your chakras in alignment. They were catalysts in your spiritual awakening, your spiritual growth, um, realizing that you are a healer, really realizing that you need to recognize yourself and acknowledge yourself before you recognize or acknowledge anyone else, have respect for yourself before you give respect to anybody else realize that you are capable and it's your responsibility to heal yourself. Mm -hmm. And this all came from, for some of you, this is your most intimate relationships that taught you this. Some of you, it could be like, um, like business. If you're a, a business owner or some kind of working environment, it could have taught you that it's, you could be better off working with yourself or working on yourself first, right? Because I feel like someone in this collective, you could have found yourself in situations where we're asking yourself, why do you always end up with these shitty people? And Spirit's like, you need to work on yourself. Like why, you're starting it though, right? Why do you uh, end up with these types of people with low vibrating people or people of low integrity? 
what is it within you? What because it's like attracts like. So what frequency in you is attracted to or is attracting these types of energies? Deal with that, right? So you no longer first off you see these energies from a mile away, right? And you're not interested. As opposed to before where you may have been a bit curious or you you know the age old adage of I can change them. They're not going to treat me that way. They're going to be different with me. You don't even bother with that anymore, right? Mhm. Mm <laughs> I heard curiosity killed the cat, but not this time. Mm hmm. Because you're not curious. Spirit wants you to see that things, things happen the way they did in your life. The people that you met in your life was for a specific reason. And it was the most important reason for you, whoever I'm speaking to on this journey. One of your assignments was to learn self love. Mm hmm. You have a very loving energy. You could show up. You could be a water sign because I'm seeing Queen of Cups, King of Cups on my third eye. But very loving energy. Still waters run deep, unconditionally loving energy for other people. But everyone but yourself. So you were put in some situations with people where they led you to believe that you were working on things or they wanted to work with you. But underneath the surface, they were snakes in the grass. Okay. They were of low integrity. They had bad intentions for you. Yeah. And until you healed yourself and mastered yourself, you would have continuously been attracting these people or been attracted to these types of energies. Right? Spirit wants you to look at yourself now. You don't, you don't have any interest in things like this. You find out or you see or you feel or you pick up some vibe that somebody's on some kind of different energy from you. You don't deal with them. Right? This is growth. These experiences, these people, they taught you how important it was to be balanced with yourself, your masculine and feminine energies. I feel like some of you, you are severely uh, imbalanced here. You could have been too much in your masculine energy, very aggressive. Or some of you could have been too much in your feminine energy where you're just, you're too soft, like moving like a doormat, letting people deal with you any way they wanted, way too passive, right? Now it's like, you know, when when to be and and who to be yeah when to be who what energy to exercise right and this is from healing you had people trigger you they and they that's exactly what they were supposed to do they were supposed to trigger you to come into union with yourself mm -hmm. wow yeah, some of you, your chakras are, were all out of alignment. You could have been wondering why your life is not successful, why there's always some kind of problem, why you're always meeting people who want to start hating on you or have some issue with you. It was all a part of God's plan, right? Spirit knew when you came down, you already agreed to this, right? They already agreed to this with you, right? So spirits, like they serve their purpose, release it. You're not holding on to grudges and resentments. It's not going to get, they did what they were supposed to do. Look at you now. Powerful, strong, balanced, full of self-love, right? You walk around with your big cup, your big cup energy. Mm -hmm. And it's because of these experiences. It's because of these people, because you had some people that put you in between a rock and a hard place. People that did you dirty, people that dealt with you like you were trash. And they pushed you to the point of having to turn around and stand up and be like, who are you? What do you think you're doing? They had to get you fed up. They had to piss you off. Because some of you, your energy, it's all love and light, right? But we're on a planet of dualty. We're in a dimension of dualty, right? So there's light and there's dark. Mm -hmm. There's love and there's hate. Right? There's good, there's bad. You get what I'm saying. Spirit had to show you like where you are. The only way you're going to learn this is by being here and going through these experiences. Because like I said, some of you, you are so engulfed in love and light. You actually thought, and I'm not coming for you because I was here too. I used to be this way. You actually thought everybody was like you. And everybody was all love and light and rainbows and lollipops and they loved everybody and cared about everybody. So spirit had to show you, no, 
Not everybody's like you. Not everybody moves like that. Not but everybody has the frequency that you do. You had to learn how to protect yourself and protect your energy. And how did you do that? By being around some motherfuckers. Okay? Who showed you that I don't have good intentions for you. I am going to try to use you. I am going to try to drain you of this beautiful life force energy that you have. Because it's feeding me. They had to back your ass up. So you learn how to stand up for yourself. Stand ten toes down. Whoever I'm speaking to, you had a lot of healing to do. And you attract, remember, like attracts like. You attracted a lot of people who matched the frequency, okay? That you were emitting at the time. Oh, Spirit said they matched the healing that you needed at the time. So if you needed to learn how to love yourself, you were attracting people who did not show you love. If you needed to learn how to trust yourself, you were attracting people you could not trust. Hmm. If you needed to learn how to take care of yourself, you were meeting people who did not check for you. They did not take care of you. They did not look out for you. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Right? Healing. Healing in yourself. Because I, with this mastery card in reverse, it's like your chakras were all out of alignment. Your life was all over the place. You had no passion. You had no, you didn't know what your purpose was. You had no drive. You had no ambition. You didn't know what you were doing with yourself. Your energy was scrambled. It was scattered. And it was because you were working with people who had absolutely no good intentions for you. But you signed up for this, right? This was a part of the contract. They said, okay, collective, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you learn self-love through your senses. I'm going to help you. Um, I'm hearing spiritual growth through um, physical evolution. Wow. Okay. 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 This is the caterpillar realizing that they actually are butterfly. You're going to have to go through some shit to get there though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's these people that for some of you, like they fucked you over in the worst way that helped you. To learn how to protect your energy. To learn how to make sure that you're good. And you fill your cups. And you put yourself first now. So spirits like look at it from a higher perspective. Look at it from love. Because on the other side. The vibration is higher. Right? So they did this out of love. I know on this planet you're like no Keish. What they did to me was wrong. You're right. But it's all, it was all a part of the grand plan. The grand scheme of things. Because these energies loved you. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side, they said, okay, I'm going to help you learn this on in this dimension, in this timeline. Okay? Because you want to learn it. You agreed to this. You know? And the human, we're all incarnated is, as humans right now, right? So it's like, hmm, even for my starseed brethren, Yeah. This is the human experience. You are a soul creating a human experience, right? And some of you, because you're so con you're connected, life is always a box of chocolates on the other end, right? So <laughs> it's always good. It's always sweet. You had to learn what it was like, the difference between the two, so that you can choose. You can't make a choice if everything's the same, right? Free will is a thing. In order for you to choose to be light, you had to go through darkness, in order to choose or learn how to choose to be a better person, you have to be around some bad people. Okay, remember, like attracts like. So, collective, I am putting the onus on you too, right? You did play a role in this, but that's what it is. It's playing roles, mm -hmm. All right? The hero's journey. You had people that were here to assist you on your journey of remembering that you're the hero in your story. What? And all that means is ain't nobody coming to save you. You have to save yourself. Mm -hmm. This is your show. Wow. Because I just have to show you this. This is such beautiful energy. Ace of Cups, union, masculine and feminine energies are balanced. Nobody can tell you who you are. Nobody can disturb your peace. Nobody can face you. Nobody can um, trigger you with any type of trauma. This is I'm healed, I'm whole, I'm happy, I know who I am, right? I've transformed. 
And it was going through these experiences. And this is major transformation here. Some of you, you did not know you had spiritual gifts until some motherfucker triggered you. Yeah. And made you realize that you are so much more than you think you are or they wanted you to believe you are. Hmm. Wow. Okay, okay. Spirit, please clarify. Sky Father. Spirit, please clarify Ten of Cups. Someone in this collective, this has to do with, um, you may blame a father. Okay, so this could be a child's father or your own biological father. You could blame for your life being fucked up. Mm -hmm. And Spirit wants you to look at things from a higher perspective. Okay. Right? Uh, for some of you, this talks about you may feel like you had no parents or you had no guidance. You had to learn how to teach yourself, right? You had to learn how to parent yourself. You had to grow up early, right? Spirit wants you to look at it from a higher perspective. Look who you are. Look who you became, right? Someone in this collective, you did not know your parents or you had a horrible relationship with them or you came from a single parent home. You are an amazing parent, because of that, right? your kids don't want or need anything, right? They're good. Spirit, please clarify ten of cups. Right. Mm -hmm. Some of you, this has to do with this may have to do with a lover or someone you were in a committed relationship with. Spirit wants you to look at things from a higher perspective. Some of you, this is family. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify the Empress. This is, this, is, this is Spirit asking you to trust. Trust the process, right? Trust the plan, okay? Even if you don't ever know everything that's going to happen, walking by faith, not by sight. Spirit, please clarify the Empress. Yeah. I feel like someone in this collective you are, you're really hurt. You have been severely disappointed by masculine energies in your life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like crying now. Severely disappointed. It's like just one thing after another where someone's trying to just mess you over. And you don't know why. Mm -hmm. Because you have nothing but love to give. And it's like, the more love you gave, the worse you got treated. Spirit needed you to learn how to be loyal to yourself and how to put yourself first. Spirit needed you to learn how to stop suppressing who you are, to please other people. Mm -hmm. Spirit needed you to learn that you didn't need anybody to fill your cups. You needed yourself. Mm -hmm. And you, didn't, you weren't obligated to anybody. You weren't stuck with anybody. Okay? And you don't owe anyone anything. You definitely don't owe anybody you or your love. They have to earn it. Mm -hmm. All right. Spirit, please clarify the falling tower in reverse. Yeah, look, something was destined. Destined to happen. Yeah. Someone in this collective spirit wants you to, to recognize that everything happened according to God's plan, according to the contract. Mm -hmm. They said to remember. Everything happened as the way it was supposed to happen, right? They want you to let go. And I just, oh my God, who, who is this? Who are you? 
when I feel the hurt, the hurt and the pain and the resentment and the anger, oh, it is overwhelming. And spirit wants you to let go of it. And spirit said the way how you do that is by forgiveness. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Right? If you can't find it in your heart to forgive others, start with yourself. Because I feel like someone in this collective is very, you're very hard on yourself because you feel like you should have had it figured out. You should have known better. You should not have tried to reconcile or make things better with someone or keep giving them chances. You are love. You show up as unconditional love. You're just doing what comes natural to you. Don't hate yourself for that. Don't beat yourself up for that. Right? Not everybody, this was a lesson. Not everybody is like you and you learn that. So now you know who to exercise that kind of energy with and who not to. Who to embrace and who to hold back from. You're not confused about this anymore. I know you learned some hard lessons, some harsh lessons. But look at it from a higher perspective. You ever have something happen to you where you're like, fuck, that shit, it shouldn't have happened, but it only needs to happen once. I will never go back there. I will never do that again. Right? Some real life-changing experiences. They really fortified you, though. Spirit wants you to learn how to trust because whoever I'm speaking to, you have trust issues, right? And I, I don't blame you. I don't, from what I see in the cards and what I feel and what spirit is showing me, I don't blame you for being this way. But if you don't take responsibility, right, with the Empress, if you don't take charge of your own healing, right, you have no one to blame but yourself. Because spirit is surrounding you right now, creating that space for you to do all the healing that you need. Right. Wow. All right, spirit wants you to accept the fact that some people, they're not going to change. And you cannot change anybody, okay? It's an individual choice. Free will is a thing, okay? You're not responsible for anybody's personal growth. You can influence it. You can be a catalyst. But you are not directly responsible for anyone's personal growth. You can't force anyone to change. And you can, sure, you can choose to waste your time waiting for people to get things or you can move on. With this Empress energy, I don't think you're doing that any. You're not doing that, right? But these people, these experiences helped you to remember, right? That you call the shots in your own life. Mm -hmm. And I know they hurt you, right? I know you've been holding on to this hurt for some of you years, over 10 years. For some of you, this is a father, like a, um, your children's father that hurts you. Mm -hmm. And you could be asking God, why did you put this person into my life? Why did you bring this person in my life? Look, why did you let this happen? Mm -hmm. And God is saying, look at the higher, look at, look at the higher purpose for this. All right. You're a whole empress and you didn't remember. You are a whole empress and you were hiding yourself and this person, they were going to help bring it out. We, we put the right person on the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was supposed to happen, right? Look at this. This person was a catalyst. They were a trigger for a rebirth, right? This person killed you. Yes, they did. Okay? They killed you so you could come back stronger. The old you that was passive, okay, that was too soft. That thought everybody was love and light. Gone. That person's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Empress is in the building now. Who sees what the fuck is going on and who it's going on with. They, you needed this person, right? To help you do this. Man. 
You needed someone who was going to do the job and do it well. Yeah. Spirit wants you to forgive this person. Okay? Because they did what they were supposed to do. All right? And it worked. My goodness, it worked. You are powerful. Mm-hmm. Yes, you are. You're powerful. You're strong. You're independent. You're on your shit. You're healed. You're whole. Right? You know your purpose. You understand your assignment. Mm -hmm. You know your wifey, your husband material, so you don't settle anymore. You know that you call the shots in your life and you create your reality. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's time to let go of this hurt and this pain. Hmm. Wow. Wow. One of your guides said you are. It's like you're a queen. What are you holding on to peasant shit for? All right? That stuff is beneath you. It didn't work out? Okay, it didn't work out. You're empress energy. Go create some other stuff that works for you. That relationship didn't work? You can attract a better one. Hmm. Confirmation, all right? My phone's going off. Spirit wants you, someone in this collective, to let go. Just and start. You can start by accepting things for what they are and healing. Um, healing through forgiveness. Forgiveness brings inner peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I feel like for the most part, collective, you're good, but you have your moments where you do think about things that happened in the past and. You know, that heaviness comes over you. Yeah. Some of you, I feel like you're kind of hard on yourself. You feel like, why did I stay with someone so long and let someone treat me like that? And it was all a part of the plan, right? It was just a chapter. The chapter is over. You have a whole book. Some of you, you're in book two, right? You don't need to go back and remember what happened Right? In chapter four of book one, it's done. All right? Okay, I get it. Chapter four in book one really hurts you. Right? But it's over. Spirit said, don't dwell. Okay? You needed that pain to grow. Okay? All right? Yeah, it's, I'm hearing daily I die. You needed someone to really come in and <sighs> kill some aspects of your ego here, right? That made you feel like you needed validation from outside sources other than yourself, right? That made you feel like you owed somebody something. Those parts of you needed to die and be reborn. That made you feel like you were stuck to somebody or something or you were obligated, right? Hmm. Someone in this collective, you no longer buy into that. Oh, I'm going to stay with them for the kids. No, you don't. <laughs> you ain't staying with nobody for nothing. You're not staying with anybody that is not contributing to your happiness or adding value to your life. You give zero fucks about if you have kids with them or not. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe. Spirit needed you to get into that energy. Mm -hmm. And with the Empress, the Empress has gone through everything. You're every queen in the deck. You've gone through it all. Right? Hmm. You had to be solid. You had to go through the fire. Fire burns. Mm -hmm. It hurts. The spirit doesn't want you to keep dwelling on that. Right? Someone is, you have such trust issues. Are you a Scorpio? <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. There's water. There's a lot of water here. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but especially when it comes to like family and 
uh, people where there's you're supposed to share some level of intimacy with or connection you don't fucking trust people because it was your most intimate connections that hurt you the most that hurt you the worst mm -hmm. but spirit needed you to learn how to be loyal to yourself because you are going around jumping through fire burning hoops or to prove your loyalty and your love to people who wouldn't fucking jump a puddle for you right they wouldn't hold a candle for you right spirit needed to you to see the truth that your loyalty your first loyalty is to yourself hard lessons you learned but you learn them and there's no going back from these once you know this you can't act like you don't know mm -hmm. these lessons that you went through they wake you the fuck up yes they do you can't go back and act like you're unconscious and you're sleeping no you woke woke fuck <laughs> yeah yes uh hmm wow okay okay because look at this you have lady grow enjoy growth and reap rewards it's your time now right with everything that you've been through that's why spirits like let this go it's time for you to free up your energy so that you can enjoy everything that you've worked hard for you think you went through all of this for no reason just for you to be walking around all miserable and freaking stuck in the pet no 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 enjoy the fruits of your labor celebrate your growth and your accomplishments man you've come so far you've grown so much spiritually emotionally mentally energetically who celebrate it enjoy it it's your turn someone in this collective you know as well as i do right i'm not telling you anything you don't this is your selfish and happy season it absolutely is it's your turn to enjoy things now spirit please clarify growth Woo. can i get some more can i get some more on lady I can't, I can't fucking make this shit up, bro. I really can't. Look at this. You got the Empress and the Emperor. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Hold on. Before I say anything else, let me let me do this. Let's clarify, let's clarify four of coins. Let's clarify four of coins. Some of my masculines in this collective, you... You've dealt with feminines that were very aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that you are more balanced in yourself, you're going to meet somebody who they're balanced to, right? You're going to meet someone who is in their, um, I'm hearing their, their gentle, their gentle feminine era or their soft woman era, right? Let's clarify four of coins. Yes. Look at this. You're on a journey. Someone in this collective, you're saving money too. Good. It's going to do wonders for you. Whatever it is that you are planning on buying or growing. or If you are a businesswoman with the Empress here, you could definitely be a businesswoman or a businessman. But you stand in on business, okay? You are in a season right now where money is surrounding you. Abundance in all areas of your life is surrounding. It's swirling around you, okay? It's like raw energy just waiting for you to do something with it. Mm hmm. So I feel like opportunities are going to be presenting themselves. Spirit said, take them. OK, take the ones that are that match what it is that you want, that align with what it is that you want. You are in a new chapter of your life. Right. Mm hmm. And it's because you learned how to keep the best for yourself now. And by that, I mean, you're not in this this phase anymore of your growth where you meet someone and you give everything to them because you want them to love you back. No. <laughs> mm -mm. People that have to respect, not respect, they need to earn your respect. That's what it is, right? Now it's show me what you are working with. Now it's let me see if you're worthy enough to stand or sit beside me. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. You vetting people. But it's because you know you deserve good things after everything that you've been through. Why settle? Makes no sense. All right, Spirit, please clarify nine of cups. You are 
following your dreams, creating your reality. You have found wish fulfillment within yourself. Okay. You are holding back. Some of you, you're on this journey of holding back from people because you're going to have, in this energy, you attract everybody, everything, right? Good energy, bad energy. And you're going to have people that are going to try to come back from the past because you're looking like a whole meal right now, right? Life is looking good for you. You look great. You have great energy. And people from the past are going to try to crawl out under the rocks, from under the rocks and try to come back in. And you're going to be holding back from these people because in this season, it's a hard no for you. Mm-hmm. They should have showed you love when they had the, when the, that window of opportunity was open. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify the emperor. Yeah. Mm. Some of you, there is a father figure. Mm -hmm. You, th this could be a child's father that you are going to be holding back from because they're going to try to come back around. But they're going to try to come back around because you're doing so good on your own. And you're happy. Mm -hmm. And you're happy without them and it's bothering them. Yeah. But this person has yet to learn some karmic lessons. Mm -hmm. But you already learned them. And this is someone who's just hurting. They're coming back around because they're hurt. And I mean like butt hurt. Because you're focusing on what's important in your life and it shows, right? A lot of abundance is around you. And there's somebody who is upset at the fact that they don't get to eat at your table. They don't get to join you in this great chapter of your life. They're grieving over it. Mm -hmm. And it's because this is someone who kept doing things to you and not learning the lessons and just keep fucking around, same shit, different day. Wanted to keep you in this karmic cycle. Mm -mm. And this was supposed to, for some, this was supposed to be a match for you. It was supposed to be a match for you. But they missed their opportunity. And that's on them. All right? Spirit, please clarify nine of cups. I really feel like it's bothering this person that you're so happy without them. All right? You're happy with yourself? Yeah. Because they didn't appreciate you when they had you. When they were with you, no, they did not. Now they're viewing you like you're everything. You're the whole fucking package. If they were with you, they would have been living like a king or a queen. Hmm. Right? But when they were with you, they were on some straight bullshit. Right? Low integrity. No integrity for some of you. This person didn't care about if they hurt you or not they would actually go out of their way to do things to hurt you mm -hmm. some of you you develop trust issues after dealing with this person yeah all right and it's taking you so long to work on them to heal from those things so you're like why the fuck would i let you back into my life after people done heal those wounds and those scars no 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 so please clarify four of coins and journey Right? Yeah, look, this person, they don't trigger you anymore. They did what they were supposed to do, right? They really helped you to level up. This is this is someone who was a catalyst, a major catalyst in your spiritual growth. Some of you never knew you had spiritual gifts until you dealt with this person. Mm -hmm, look at this. I can't make this up. Self-love. Yeah. You're holding back from this person now. They're not getting anything from you. No, they're not. And it sucks for them so bad, right? <laughs> this is a sucks to be you moment because, oh man, oh man. If this person grew with you, they could have been enjoying the good life with you. Mm -hmm. They really could have been. But at the time they were freaking kicking you around like you were a rock, right? Acting like you ain't shit and you ain't never going to be shit, Right? And thought that they could just treat you any way that they wanted to. And come back whenever they pleased. Now they're seeing different. And they're, this is someone who's really genuinely grieving. They cry real tears over you. Real tears. Because they see that you're about your priorities and they are not one of them. Not anymore. And when you get this kind of love. When you get someone who loves you like this with the ace of cups. Right? 
This is God's love reincarnate. When you experience someone who loves you like that and then they take that shit away, you start tweaking. <laughs> yes, you do. You're damn right you cry real tears. That's like Jesus telling you, I don't like you. <laughs> you don't want Jesus to tell you, I don't like you because Jesus loves everybody. So what did you do for Jesus to tell you, you know what, really and truly, I don't like you. You're damn right you're going to cry real fucking tears, crocodile tears, boogers running down your nose. Mm -hmm. You're holding back from these types of energies and you're definitely holding back from someone. Someone you have a child with, whoever I'm speaking to you, dead ass, you have children with this person. Yes, you do. Some of you, this is a father figure in your life or your father, right? Who did not show you love when they were supposed to show you love. They could have been an absentee parent or they only came around when they wanted something or they created a whole family outside of you and never really accepted you or dealt with you away. And because of that, you had trust issues. Someone you developed trust issues with male counterparts because of a father figure in your life. Mm-hmm. But they were there to be a catalyst to help you to love yourself and know your worth and boss up, okay? Boss up within yourself. This is, I don't need you to love me. I need to love me. All right? Because the love that you have for yourself, it's, uh, it's profound. It's transformational. This is love that is a light in the darkness, right? So when times when people reject you, you can, you learn how to look at things from a higher perspective. Like rejection is protection. Obviously spirit didn't want me with you. That's why your ass got removed. You're not over there deading, right? Not eating, not sleeping because someone didn't want to be with you anymore. It's like, no, okay. I keep it moving. I got stuff to do anyway with the Empress card. You're busy anyway. Hmm. You needed to learn that kind of love. That no matter what, no matter who comes, no matter who goes, your, your focus is always on the prize, which is yourself. Hmm. In this journey, in this chapter, you're holding back from people. And certain and certain people can't trigger you no more because you healed those things. Right? That part of you that felt like you needed other people to love you in order to be lovable. Or that you didn't deserve love. Hmm. With the Empress, you're damn right you know you deserve love and you will not settle. I just love this energy for you. You got the Empress and Nine of Cups. My goodness. Talk about pouring into yourself. You're happy with yourself. You're emotionally fulfilled with yourself. You're focusing on your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. You found wish fulfillment in yourself. That's why you don't want this person anymore. They don't even appeal to you. Some of you, if you wanted a relationship with your father, you don't even care for it. Like, it doesn't bother you, right? For the most part, it doesn't bother you. If this is a father, like your children's father, put the energy where it goes. There's no gender in tarot. This could be a mother as well who shows up in masculine energy. But they really taught you, these experiences really taught you, like, you are so good. Mm -hmm. You can be so good with or without them. Yeah. And you don't owe anything to anybody who didn't feel like they owed anything to you. Right? People who didn't appreciate you. People that didn't show up for you. Mm -hmm. You don't owe them anything. And now somebody is completely grieving. Because they are aware of their mistakes that they made with you. And one of the major mistakes that they're kicking themselves for is the fact that they did not make you a priority in their life when they fucking should have. Mm-hmm. Right? I say this, like, this is like Beyonce's boyfriend dealing with her and cheating on her before she became Beyonce. Trust and believe that dude looks in the mirror and wants to slit his wrist. 100%. You think he's not kicking himself at the fact that he dealt with Beyonce like that? And yeah, they're young. I get it. But that's what it's like. This is someone who was with you before you got into Emperor Empress energy and dealt with you like you ain't shit and you ain't never going to be shit. Yeah. And then you leveled all the way up and now they're crying real tears because they're not allowed in your space anymore. Mm -hmm. And they will never get to experience the love that you gave them. Mm-hmm. 
They'll never, with this four of pentacles, they're not experiencing nothing with you again. They know that. I told you. <laughs> this is like Jesus saying, I don't like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. And it's all because they refuse to learn some karmic lesson here. And one of the lessons I feel was be appreciative. When people show you love, show it back to them. When people care about you, care for them. Don't look at kindness as weakness and take advantage of people. Like what kind of energy is that to have? Don't use people. Don't abuse people. Hmm. Wow. Whew. Okay, collective, I am done. That message came out. Spirit, is there any last messages you have for the collective in closing? Is there any messages? Let's pull some 5D messages in closing. Right? You're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Wow. Everything you've been through, you fucking deserve this chapter of your life. Okay? Live it up. Okay? Live in la vida loca. Live it up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to really go and say stun on these niggas. <laughs> stun on these bitches, right? But it's not to be bad-minded. It's just I'm living my best life after everything you fucking tried to do. You did It did not work. It made me better, faster, stronger, wiser, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Wow. There's someone who was supposed to be your divine counterpart here and fully missed the bus. Wow. You're damn right they're crying. Right? It's time to remember your mission and get to work. Okay? You got stuff to do. Remember the universal law of attraction. Yes. You are attracting who resonates with you now. Okay? You're doing what this Empress energy, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for yourself. Chakra healing and balancing is needed. Okay? Some of you, you still have some chakra healing and balancing to do. Okay? Some healing. There's a lot of um, chakra healing and balancing channels on YouTube. Check them out. Inner Lotus is a really good one. Your ancestors are helping you with this, so just be cool. Yes, and I told you, you're being surrounded by energies that are helping you to create a space to do this healing work, okay? To allow you to forgive yourself and forgive others, right? It's, and this is just... Recognizing that everything happens for a reason. There's no such thing as coincidence, right? Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in this 3D mindset, right? You're 5D now. Let that go, right? Can't fool you. Your third eye is wide open. You're damn right, honey. And they know that. That's why they're crying real tears. They know that. They didn't fool anyone. They fooled themselves. Don't have a business, be a business. I can't make this up, okay? Someone in this collective, success is your birthright here. If you are starting a business or you are a business owner or you're thinking about some side hustles or spirit said, do it because this is your season for you to just conquer your fears and to manifest your goals and your dreams, okay? It's here for you now, so go and do it. This is spirit also letting you know that what it is that you want, it's going to come from you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do something, do it. You don't need to wait on anybody. Spirit will send you the help that you need hmm. because I, I can feel it. There's, there is an energy. There is a bubbling inside of you. It's like a restlessness. You know what it is? It's an idea and it's an idea that you are supposed to be doing. Right. And that's why you can't stop thinking about it. That's why you feel this unrest, this anxiety. Like I got something to do. I'm supposed to do this idea. I'm supposed to just do it. You're going to find that you feel a lot better when you start working on it. Okay. Because it's being birthed from you. Okay. And it's time. It's time the baby. It's time for the baby to come out. Okay. It's time for the baby to come out because there's someone in this collective, your level up, your upgrade in life. It's fucking waiting. It's been waiting for you. Go and meet it. Mm-hmm. Right? Just start working on something one day at a time. Remove all toxicity and negativity from your life. That's exactly what you did. Right? And you made room for good things to grow. Yes. <laughs> you got wolf in sheep's clothing. But it came out in reverse. So I feel like 
Uh, for you, you're not dealing with people who are wolves in sheep's clothing anymore. You only deal with people who are high vibrational, who don't have anything to hide, and have good intentions for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you removed all toxicity from your life. Yes. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Collective, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.